Hello everyone, I'm Shai and today I'm going to be drawing some of your Sonic OCs in my art style. So during my hiatus, I have seen a lot of OCs pop up in my community tab coming all from you guys and all of your channels and I've wanted to draw so many of them. There are so many designs that I wanted to do and now I finally have time. So I decided to sit down and draw some of these randomly selected OCs and if your OC wasn't picked, I'm sorry but uh, there's always next time. I, I am planning on doing another installment of these videos so stay tuned and maybe your OC will be next. So the first OC that I'm going to be drawing is Jennifer the Clown from At Sleepy Rose. Jennifer is a 20 year old bunny who is a well known and loved clown at her local circus. I'm not going to spoil all of her backstory for you but if you want to read more please check out At Sleepy Rose's YouTube channel and she has the rest posted in her community tab. So Jennifer was really fun. I, I saw her a few weeks ago and all her bright colors and her personality really made me want to draw her. So I started out with the sketch and when I'm drawing poses, usually I start out with a smaller thumbnail, but this time I already had a pose in mind so I just went straight into the sketching phase and then inking. Inking didn't really take too long. I'm still tweaking and playing around with it, trying to see what works, so I don't really have much to say on inking. <laughs> I just kind of go over it, make sure everything's clean and sharp, and then I move on to coloring. The coloring was my favorite part because it was so many bright and saturated colors and I haven't worked with those a lot recently. Her color palette was all really diverse but somehow all of these bright colors worked together. So her palette was really fun to work with and to shade, it was really fun. And yeah, here is Jennifer the bunny. So for our second OC, we have Amelia the Caracal by at Board Collie Doodles. Amelia is a kind and simple-minded girl who has a passion in smoothie making. So when I was drawing the pose for this one, for the second illustration, for some reason, my brain didn't want to process the anatomy very well and I went through at least four or five different poses before I landed on the final one. This one took a few more tries but in the end I still like how it turned out. I think the coloring turned out fairly well. Um, but yeah the pose just I ended up opting for as you can see I went for a more simple kind of generic standing there pose but her description said that she was a smoothie maker and she loved all sorts kinds of fruits. So I tried to include that in the final illustration. And I think I turned out much better than I was expecting. And with that said, here are the final illustrations. And to the creators of these OCs, I hope you like the way they turned out. And that's the end of this video. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!